Hello, everybody. Okay, is that fixed? <laughs> We're gonna play anime games. We're gonna make drinks. I will say thank you again to Andy Campbell who came up with our cocktail for this evening. Um, and I definitely have the right kind of glass to serve this cocktail in um, because it's a freaking tiki cocktail, clearly. And I have this lovely Tyrion Lannister tiki glass that my brother and um, my freaking uh, sister-in-law got for me at a thing one time. Shall we get into the freaking cocktail that we are going to make? Okay, I was gonna, I wanna actually like look at the text that Andy sent me to give y'all the exact Andy Campbell uh, verbiage on this particular cocktail. Okay, this is obviously sort of a variation on a zombie, which is a classic tiki cocktail. I didn't really, I wasn't really able to get all of the exact right ingredients to make this, mostly because Andy wanted me to use papaya juice. It's a pandemic, Andy. We can't, we can't have exotic things. But I did look up and it said that it would be okay to substitute like maybe a mango or something. So I got like a little mango flavoring to throw in there. So I'm already making a variation on this. It's a strong, yeah, Andy, not everyone has a papaya tree. Andy doesn't even have a backyard. So it's wild to me that, but quite honestly, uh, as Andy said in the chat last week when he was here, he was like, Oh, I thought it was more of like a concept and not that you were actually gonna be making these on stream. Well, Andy, we're gonna do our best. Um, he also said we could light this cocktail on fire, which we are not gonna do. Um, if you have experience lighting drinks on fire, by all means, there's a 75% chance it would be completely fine, uh, but I'm not gonna risk that on stream. If I was gonna light this on fire, I'd like go outside and then it would burn out before y'all would even see it. So it's pointless for me to light it on fire. Also, Andy's recipe did call for Bacardi 151, which doesn't um, exist anymore. However, 151 proof rum does still exist and I was able to get some. It's just not made by Bacardi. Um, it's probably a little different than Bacardi 151. So we're gonna really like, this is an experiment for everybody. Here we friggin' go, okay. So I've got my cocktail shaker that is full of ice. I also have fresh ice in the tiki glass because you don't want to um, uh, make your drinks cookie NES. Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, you don't want to use the same ice that you shook up your drinks with um, to be the ice that's in your drink. All right, here we go. So we want half an ounce of white rum. Okay, so that's just gonna be a regular. Half an ounce, okay, so just half an ounce of this. I realized too, I think I published the recipe slightly wrong, but if you have all the ingredients, you have all the ingredients. So here we go. So I'm using the smaller side of the jigger here. So there we go, so half an ounce of white rum. Apparently it's actually one and a half ounces of golden rum. I think I said that it was half an ounce. I thought it was equal parts, uh, white rum, golden rum and twice as much dark rum, but it's not. Well, well. It's the golden rum, right? Yeah, okay. So the golden rum is the one that we're really gonna go to town on. Yeah, I'm taking her uh, potions nude exactly right. I mean, mixology is kind of a science. Okay, so we're doing one and a half of the golden. This is the, the Von Frankenstein. Where Andy got Von from? Not really sure. Not really sure. Uh, considering the character's name is just Victor Frankenstein. I don't think they ever like say his middle name. Okay, cool. Um, okay, sweet. So we've got one and a half ounces of the golden rum. Okay. And then ounce of dark rum. Oh God. It's a lot of alcohol in this drink. Ben Goddard. Look at that sub. Thanks so much, man. That might've been an auto renew. I'm like, I feel like Ben is, oh no, there's Ben. <laughs> I was like, I feel like Ben is streaming, but he's not. Yeah, Ben, we're making um, a cocktail right now designed by my neighbor and dear friend, Andy Campbell, uh, also a bartender, much like yourself. Um, it's like, it, it is, a, it's basically a zombie Uber. Um, it's just Andy's, Andy called it the Von Frankenstein, which again, where he got that name, unclear. All right, so then we need an ounce of dark rum. Perfect. 
uh, you want to see. Yeah, this is, I, I don't even know if there really is a twist. It's just, Andy just named it a fancy thing and said, light it on fire. And I was like, I'm not going to light fires on my, um, I'm not going to light fires <laughs> on my street slash possibly to my apartment. Not interested in that. Thanks. Okay. And then we don't need this again until we float the 151 on top. Oh, but I'm just going to free pour that. So, okay, cool. So then I need an ounce of lime juice, a teaspoon of pineapple juice, and then the papaya juice, which we decided there. Papaya juice, really, Andy? Okay. Yeah, fire might be against TOS. It might be. It might be. I'm, I'm not really sure, but we'll, I'm not here to find out, quite frankly. Uh, okay. Where'd my limes go? I grabbed a lime, and I don't know where it went. Oh, here's my lime. So, an ounce of lime juice? I don't know. I feel like juice is... Like half a lime will be just fine. Uh, so yeah, so uh, Alfred uh, Bacardi discontinued 151, but there are still 151 rums that you can get. Um, so I had to just like seek one out. You know what I mean? And I found one. I was very proud of myself. I mean, it wasn't that hard. I just looked it up on Drizzly. So <laughs> needs a little pineapple juice, a little papaya juice, but I'm using a mango juice instead because I. Who has papaya juice? I've never seen papaya juice in my life. That's probably plenty of pineapple juice. Eh, maybe a little more. Okay. I'm not gonna measure friggin' teaspoons, you know? That seems like a teaspoon. Okay. All right, so I'm ready to just shake this bad boy up. If I can, you know, find the top of my shaker. Okay. So, I'm gonna strain this into here. Ooh! I mean, that, this was the perfect size tiki glass, it turns out. I've just got a little bit of room on the top. And so now, I gotta float this 151, baby. One, two, okay. This is what you would like light on fire, but we're not gonna do that. And then garnish with mint or fruit. I did get mint to garnish with. Okay, here we go. Use a little mint garnish. Okay. Time time to taste this drink that Andy made. Well, I made it, just Andy invented it. Here we go. Oof. Oh my God, that is strong. <laughs> wow. Oh, I maybe should have put a little more juice. Uh. <laughs> it's not bad, it's just strong. Yeah, the 151 floater, that's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. It'll settle and it'll taste more like juice and less just like straight 151 rum. <laughs> I think I am gonna use my little cocktail stirrer. Just to, just to get that 151 settled in there a little bit. Oh, that is a rum drink, but it tastes good. Mmm. Well, cheers, everybody. What a delight. Yeah, that uh, that 151 on top definitely burns. <laughs> hmm. All right. Time to continue. So where last we left off, we are now at this, like, mansion. We're now at a mansion. Um, and we are with uh, Victor Frankenstein, who like rescued us from some thugs, and also Impy Barbicane and Arsene Lupin, who like <laughs> rescued us from an um, abandoned mansion where we were just kind of waiting to die, I guess. Yeah, and then we also met a corgi with a robot arm and a, and a tiny hat. And a tiny hat. I did float 151 on the top of it, and it was like very intense. I, I stirred it up a little just to... <laughs> just to blend it some, you know? Rum is not usually my alcohol of choice, but you know what? I'll, I'll do it, I'll, I'll do it for the content, okay. Okay, don't feel sleepy at all. Cece's curled up at my feet, okay. My, okay, hold on. Two armed men invaded my home, loop on shadow in the moonlight, meeting Impy. Okay, we're just gonna like f fly through this. The encounter with the very kind Victor. Oh, you hear music? Well, good for you. I certainly don't. What the heck? Oh, it's a summer afternoon and JRPG piano piece? That sounds really lovely. Wish I could hear it. 
Your mom made a rum birthday cake for school once. Oh my God. Moving on. Okay. All right. Right. Nervousness about not being able to move onto the bed. Oh, right. Cause she like needs to have her special clothes so she doesn't burn stuff. Okay. Cece. Cece growls in response. He jumps down and dashes over towards the door. Uh oh, something's going on. The hall is unlit. The moonlight comes through the window, casting shadows. Signs of the night somehow rem reminds me of the mansion I used to live in. Cece, where are you? She's British, in case you didn't know. Oh, oh my God, what is that? A huge shape. It's like a person in armor. Character. Oh, that's right, the person that owns the house. We haven't met them. But, okay, what's going on? Huh? Or in the row along the wall. Perhaps he went in there. Perhaps. Mm. Quietly approach the door and then enter. It's a huge room furnished like the room I'm staying in. Oh, this is another... What, girl, you got a whole library in your room? Importantly, Cece isn't here either. Oh no, where'd the doggo go? Where could he have gone? I don't know. Let's go find him. With who has a girl's name. All right. Turn the door. Oh, oh is it a new boy? I suddenly hear a voice from behind me. <gasps> what? <laughs> There's that cheerful piano music again. I spin around in surprise and see someone who appeared out of nowhere by the window. A calm, androgynous seeming figure. Mm. The moonlight gives his skin a bluish glow and gleams off his eyes. Is he, is he, is he a vampire? <laughs> who are you? And how did you... <laughs> oh, I noticed at times. Oh, the new tenant Luban told you about. Why, yes. It's, it's the Hinatos without his robe inside. <laughs> oh. 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 Okay, I'll just call you Saint Germain. So this Wait, where are you currently from? Were you previously from somewhere else? What's going on? It's almost like looking at a smile on a painting, not a real person. Was I looking for something? Uh, I was looking for my dog, Cece. Yeah, Impy just wants the doggo to love him. I sort of love Impy, if I'm being honest. I love a dumb sweet boy, even though, like, Impy's supposed to be a smart inventor. Oh no, we lost the dog! Mm. Well, you're so welcome, Saint Germain. So freaking welcome. Experience. What kind of things? Oh, Cece's on the bed. That's weird. You came back. I sigh and lay down on the bed. Fatigued, so sleepy, drifting away, looking out the window at the moon. What will tomorrow bring? There's a gem embedded in my chest. Yes, that's right. The horologium. It glows faintly like a heartbeat. This gem was placed inside me two years ago. Oh, it was only two years ago? But why? When? For what reason? I have no memory of anything from before. Oh! I completely misinterpreted when she was like, I only have memories of two years of my life. And I'm like, so she has no memories past age two. But actually, she only has memories of the last two years of her life. Okay, okay. And so the gem stays there with a quiet beauty, but still hideous. Oh, it looks kind of pretty to me. Also, is the tattoo a result of the gem or did they just also give you a tattoo? 
its glow as proof that I'm a monster. So let's start. It is very pretty, yeah. Here's Victor Frankenstein with his steampunk headphones. On the first morning after arriving in Sandra Man's mansion, Victor said that he wanted to examine me before breakfast. You can't wait till after breakfast. Like, I'm not very pleasant until after I've had something to eat in the morning. And like, I get hangry. Like, it's a, it's a real thing. Titanium! Oh. He refined it to a highly purified state. Oh, Even still, it's no match for that poison horology of monster blood! I thought he was pretty clear. We need to re-explain though for this tiny girl brain. Your hair is safe to touch! How did we come to that conclusion? Oh, she told them that her hair was safe last time. Listen, I had to ingest a lot of information last time, so... Didn't, re didn't remember the hair thing. <laughs> yeah, let's make this girl some, like, sweet traveling clothes, you know? <laughs> I know that he means just, like, you can put hands on your body and like you don't burn yourself but uh you know i mean they're really putting a lot of pressure on this poor young scientist you know like somebody else could do some work around here thank you i'm so sorry to cause so much trouble i don't know why i said she was so sorry when she just said she was regular sorry i have to constantly stay on my back listen y'all i as an adult made the transition into the joy of sleeping on your back. It was something that I didn't think was me, but I've become a back sleeper and it's kind of great. <laughs> I feel like this game is like really trying to push me towards Luban and like I'm not about it. I know, San I'm kind of feeling San Germain also, but I love Impy also because again like I have such a I have such a, like, soft spot for, like, dumb, sweet, manly boys. Like the Kirishimas of the world, you know? Look at his jacket! It's like, <laughs> it only has one arm. It only looks like a half jacket and then, like, a what is going on with his outfit? A flag person, one dog meal. Does the dog sit at the table? I stare at the scene slightly Are shocked. You? Oh, that's right. Impy always cooks for everybody. Discount Sephiroth. Yeah. That's really sweet of him. He's like, we're going to make a sandwich so you don't burn our silverware in your mouth. I was a bit surprised to see both you and Lupin praying along with Saint Germain, Impy. <laughs> I actually would like it if you weren't, so. This is unexpected. I thought Lupin and Impy were being very free-spirited with how they lived. But at the same time, they're considerate of other people's ways of life. <laughs> this game is just full of like wholesome, wholesome life advice. What is our goal? We gotta find my dad. Alright, Lupin wants to stop the terrorists. Impy's very serious about going to the moon. Victor is hiding from the government! And Saint Germain is. happy to be here! Saint Germain, why are you allowing us to stay here? I don't have any money. <laughs> I'm just a rich. Uh, I'm an eccentric bazillionaire who likes to populate my home with other handsome men. Wait a second. He was like, I was bored, and then these, like, two boys were just, like, milling about, and I was like, hmm, y'all seem interesting, come live in my house. It turned into something fun. What exactly is the relationship between you three? Oh my god! No, for real, though, what is the relationship between these three? Because, like, if they're all 
like fucking each other. I don't want to interfere with that. I mean, I was already like maybe leaning towards Frankenstein anyway, so. They're definitely a couple. Like, I can't interfere with this love story. I know why Impy would want to work with you, but I don't quite see why you would want to work alongside him, Lupin. Tell me about your crimes. Oh, he's a sweet boy, too. He uses Boku, which is like a nice boy way of saying I. Most of, like, a lot of male anime characters use Ore, which is like a tough guy. I, Boku is always like, oh, I'm, I'm a nice boy. Isaac no Kenkyu, uh... I, you're, I just feel like you're lying. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm reading too much into the novel I read in high school about you, Victor Frankenstein. But like, you're, to you're just like conveniently leaving out the whole like monster thing. None. He's totally hiding something. Everyone has one or two secrets they never wish to divulge, and I'm fine with that. I feel like Frankenstein's is kind of big, though. Right, Impy wants to go to the moon. Lupin wants to find my dad. I don't have any objections. Frankenstein just wants to help me solve the problem with my... Um, poison blood that burns everything I touch. And Saint Germain just wants a good laugh. Covert <laughs> government force is searching for her! So mysterious. Okay. A doctor? What about Dr. Frankenstein, who's literally in this house? You do? Um, I feel like going to a doctor is a pretty bad idea, actually. Also, like, this is rich Victorians. They would have doctors come to their house. Yeah, he just... Yeah, exactly. She's like, wait, aren't you a doctor, bruh? What results could we possibly get by going to another doctor? Yo, what? I'm just an alchemist. All right, fine. Fine! Challenge everything I know about the character of Dr. Frankenstein, why don't you? Don't realize. Conclusions. I don't want to go to the doctor. I thought I already went to a doctor, and apparently in this continuity, Victor Frankenstein is not a doctor. Rumors, blah, blah, blah. I see a suspicious, I see a suspicious people. Mm hmm yep, I've had some rum tonight. I see suspicious people standing in the shadows, talking with one another in hushed tones. Victor, it's not right for you to leave the mansion. You're a wanted man. Hmm. Oh, he came with us? The headquarters for the London police. They fight crime every day, but cannot make as much progress against it as they'd like. You know what? Let's cut out this war on crime right now. It mostly affects, disproportionately affects the lower class and minorities. So you can stop right now. Ooh, someone in London pretending to be a phantom thief! <laughs> Who could it be? There are so many options. You'll never see it coming. The going gets a little rough. Lupin, where are we going? You were like, let's go to a doctor. And I'm like, I don't... What kind of doctor are we going to? Oh my god, what the crap? Uh, do we have to scale buildings? What is happening? Finally, we reach the top. The city's cape here is completely different from down on the streets. The area is a lot less lively, it's quieter, and there are fewer people going to and fro. Oh, yeah, because she just doesn't get, she doesn't get tired. She also has infinite stamina because of the crystal gem in her chest. 
because we're going to some sort of sketchy ass doctor. This is not a real doc. Look at Lupin's smile. I hate it. I hate it. It's like really unsettling. Oh, it's a girl doctor. We turn towards the voice from behind us and I see a middle-aged woman. Oh, based on that voice, I was expecting like a sexy young thing, but maybe it's a sexy middle-aged oh, thing, which yeah, I'm yeah. also into. <laughs> Jill the Ripper! It doesn't look as bad in the close-up. I, I feel a little better about this smile, but like the, the wide... Oh. He's so he's a soft, sweet alchemist boy. He's in very bad shape. I want to see this doctor. I'm ready for like sexy woman over 40. Though honestly, it's the Victorian times. So she literally might be my age. Oh, man, I was really hoping there was going to be a, a, like, animation person for this doctor, but I guess not. Huh? Girl, you've been taking your clothes off literally all over the countryside, and now the doctor's like, I need you to take your clothes off for medical purposes, and you're like, I, nah, can't, can't do it. Take your clothes off and tell me what's bothering you. It is really pretty. Wait, is she just naked but wearing shoes? Stethoscope. What's wrong? Cover your wrist. Why? Well, then why did we come here? Well, this was pointless. Why did we go to the doctor then? We already found out from not doctor, apparently Frankenstein, that he's like, I don't quite get it, but I feel like I'm making some progress. And then Lupin's like, I want you to come see my doctor. And she's like, I don't fucking know what's happening. My heart isn't beating. I'd never given it any thought. While everyone is silent and shocked, Victor speaks up. He's like, uh, yep. actually I knew this. Well, why didn't you tell us before, Maine? Also, like, any person, maybe this wasn't common practice in Victorian steampunk England times, but, like, it's not hard to be like, yep, I can feel my pulse in my wrist, or like, yep, feel my pulse in my neck, you know? me what? Oh, is this his deep, dark secret he didn't want to tell me? Victor, what is it? Cardia. Kimi no shi heart's not moving. Heart's been removed altogether. And only Ima the gem is keeping you alive. You're just a crystal gem, gem now. It's fine. You'll be alright. Nimo kakawarazu. Kimi wa ikiteiru. Ororo game da nanda ってのは shira nai ga. I want Cardia and Pierre not to have a conversation. I know. God. And look around at the others, flustered. <laughs> this is so dramatic. I'm here for it. What happened to my... What happened to me in the past? I... No one can answer my questions. It's gonna be okay, Cardia. I don't have a heart. She's an infinity stone! It's as if I really am a monster! I understand. Thank you for examining me. I'm available to play your sad 
Victorian anime protagonists with no heart. All right, well, we found out that the only reason we're alive is because of the magical gem in our chest. So we're basically an infinity stone or a crystal gem or any number of things, really. So that's where we're at right now. And because the gem is making our blood poison, we can never touch another human being. Really convenient for creating sexual tension in a dating sim. I know it's my fault that we're so depressed, but I can't bring myself to cheer up. Suddenly, Lupin, who'd been walking ahead of us, stops. Mm. Lupin's like, well, I know you're sad. Let's go to a fancy dinner. <laughs> Is there an option where I date all of them? Um, Moody Mika, I, I have been in a carriage, but I think not, like, actually while horses were drawing it. Like, I've sat in a carriage, but I've never, like, gone on a carriage ride, but that might be false. I may have been on, in a carriage, like, on a ride before. So we're walking around. We, we're going somewhere nice. Two fierce-looking men. Are we at, like, a carnival situation? What's happening? <laughs> Where are we going? Are we at a carnival? Is this gonna turn into um us? Is she gonna get replaced by her her tethered and get lost in a funhouse? Man. These are my wife and servants. Oh, okay. His servant? I just love that he was like, um, Impy and Frankenstein are my servants. So, what is this place? Stop lollygagging servants! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. Lupin suddenly appears before me and smiles into my eyes. How do you do that? <laughs> oh. Yeah, really, legitimately though, where are we going? You don't sound like yourself when you talk like that. Oh. 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 It's a, co a casino. A casino? Winning your rich, losing your poor. I think I get it. But why would a place like that be in a place like this. Cool. Airship yeah, races, what is going on? There's just like a lot happening here. I do like casinos. I love playing blackjack. <laughs> the problem is, is when I do play card games, I'm having fun. So like, I just keep buying into card games because I'm like, I'm having a great time. And then I'm like, how did I lose $200? Oh, because I just kept putting money into this game. I'm ready! Let's go to the casino! Let's party! Then we divide them among ourselves. Oh, do I get to play? I... Ooh, who are we gonna go with? Chad, vote, 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 vote! Do we want to go with Victor or with Impy? Both are great choices! Let's make a poll! Let's make a poll and vote! Everybody vote! Who should I go with? Frankenstein? Or Impy? Impy or Frankenstein? <laughs> I'm not gonna vote, I'm gonna let y'all take care of this. Oh, it's neck and neck! Alright, we're going with Impy. <laughs> I'll go with Impy. Oh, <laughs> oh. 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 They're both so sad. Buddy uh. Body is yours for the taking. Oh, wow. And Victor looks so tired after walking so far today. So, would, you would be my most appropriate choice. Love wasn't involved. Impy's already striding across the room. I'm excited. I'm excited. What's this? 
スロットマシーンと言って、レバーを回してボタンを押すだけでお金が出てくるという魔法の機械。ね、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、No, Doug, what if Victor was Blackjack? I'm sad, I'm gonna go enjoy it. I want to try. I hope that she's just a fucking like slot whiz. Let's fucking go! It's actually very good. Oh, I won! <laughs> Eh? And it's all coming out in the、eh? fall! Ooh, that's what's up! It is pretty easy! I do think it's easy. I'll give it a try. Girl, you got this. The pictures have all blurred together. This might be difficult. I suspect that I will probably fail, but I do my best to press the buttons. I didn't get anything. Oh well. Aww. If I'm able to get a match, will you love me? I'm sorry, so you're cheating? Is that what I'm hearing? Is you're cheating? Isn't that cheating? I use my own skill to make this, but let's not tell security. ちゃん What should I do? Oh, here comes Lupin. Impy will be fine. He's gonna be fine. It's all gonna be fine. Everything's fine. I really wonder what would have happened if I went with Victor. Victor spent his time peacefully observing his surroundings. Okay, I think I would have been bored. And Impy said that he ran for his life and was almost drowned in the Thames by security guards. What a time! I feel like I'm having to get along with these. Jesus Christ! That took a turn! She's like, I'm having a great day, and then it's like villagers with their pitchforks and torches being like, Die, monster! Oh, okay, let's do some investigating. I'm ready. それ I've seen him somewhere before. Oh, so who is he? A friend of yours, Victor. So, Jan I could. Oh, my God, please. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, Lupin. <laughs> We gotta go! Oh no, what's happening? Oh no, he's helping me up with a threatening metallic click behind him. Oh, please! Who is this man? 
And is he hot? The answer is he's probably hot. And there. Um, hello. Who are you? George Brightman. Now it's what to worry me. Sugo no mama. Zuibun to die tandana. Arsene Lupa. Totail Girivane. Die tie. Tono Namaga Shiritaka. Mazu Jibun Kara Nanotara Dona. Oh, my no yona no spuni nano in the area. But I want to know who you are too, so could you tell me, please? Oh, fuck. The heart of a beautiful thing. The heart of a beautiful thing. Oh. This is like Bridget Jones with two men fighting in the streets. Boom. Whoa. I need to know who that man was though, please. <laughs> あれせぬばんあ、今のうちだ。逃げろ。そう、ブラバー。おそい。お。おまいガード。わあ。ミステリアスランドイズライクリーリーラックレットアップオンザリストオブファディ。もう一度言う。怪物を出す。Who Dang! I need to know who this man is. Oh, good try, though, Dr. Frankenstein! And then... Hey! Impy san tojaku! No, Impy, you're gonna ruin it! It's barely emasculating! Oh, yeah, Frankenstein's a soft, sweet boy who's in bad shape. Sana. Do you think we lost him? I love the Impy who's supposed to be American is saying that. Like, Who is that, Lupin? Suddenly, Lupin turns serious. Duck! Oh, shit! Oh, here he is! Who are you? A gentleman thief. Who are you? Please tell me! You're very attractive! Soda. Yapari Soda! Karenunawa. What? Oh, he's retired from Twilight. Do you want to come live in the mansion with us? Then there's a lot of beds to be in the mansion with us. Oh! Impy! Oh, that's so sort of love, Impy, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Well, well, Impy. <laughs> Impy's like, no, no, I'll protect you. And then... Let's talk about it later in private. Impy, what the fuck? Wow! Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, 
くだらない芝居は終わったか来ないんだくらえショットガンメガネ野郎インピーダイナミックインパクトー I get why Joy was all in on this game. Yeah, Pete, agree. No, Impy! <laughs> Impy! You can I? I have to tell Well, Jim! Fucking Frankenstein, if only you were a doctor, but apparently you're just an alchemist and you're not a doctor in this continuity. What? Ay, ay, ay. We're gonna we leave him! What? Lupin! Don't leave your boyfriend! Lupin! This is a wrong choice! I can't give you a chance to show him! That's not bad! That's the guy's thought! He's not that badly hurt! This got crazy! He's seasoning you? Like to cook you in a stew later? I don't understand. Classic, hide your weak characters in the bushes. Does Cardia have a firearm or a bow though? Because it can be very effective to like hide your archers in the bushes and just have them snipe people. Wait, is Von Helsing like a bounty hunter now and he's like trying to collect a bounty on Cardia? Cardia. I hesitate for a moment, then nod. Listen, we need Frankenstein's monster. That's what we need right now. There he is. Y'all, this is so intense. Oh, Lupin! Oh no, I no, I am the monster. I got so excited. I was like, Frankenstein's monster! And then I was like, no, it's not me. It's just Cardia. She's the fucking monster. I, I mean, Von Helsing with the double guns is just doing it for me, you Oh my god. 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 Oh my tree! Why am I very attracted to this? There's something very terribly wrong with me. He's like, I'm blowing up trees, I'm not effing around, and I'm like, really into it. I'm really into it. <laughs> how much of this is the wrong and how much of this is my own questioners? <laughs> I decide to, oh, I'm coming out. No, no, I'm, I'm not even asking you chat because we're all gonna vote. We're gonna reveal ourselves. Let's fucking go. Cardia, what are you doing? I'm standing up for myself, bitch. Lupin saved my life. I can't just stand by and watch this. Yes, that's right, MP. She is a badass. She is a badass waiting to happen. Oh, oh, yes. Oh my God. This is villain falls instantly in love with the heroine and I'm in love with this trope. A poorly executed plan. No. Keep quiet, Arsene. Van Helsing's piercing blue eyes are directed at me. Well, I can't, because it's like embedded in my body and I'll fucking die if I do give it to you. I can't do that. Even if I could give it to you, I would probably no. die. Oh. She's like... Here you go, baby! <laughs> yeah, she strips for everybody. It's like her saying hello. My name is Cardia. Isaac Beckford is my father. Oh, damn. I literally just told you I'm his daughter. Are you a moron? Are you a fucking clown? Immortal. Oi, oi! Don't touch me! What are you doing? Damn it! The plot. I'm asking this woman. I asked this woman. I already told you I don't know a lot. He's my father, but I'm sorry. I remember nothing before two years ago. That's all I know. He might be a Dracula. 
What do you see? I'm so do. invested yeah. now. <laughs> what is it, Dr. Frankenstein? Sorry, not Dr. Frankenstein. He's acting on his own. He's a rebel, Dottie. A loner. Please come live with us, Von Helsing! Why am I so into him? Please psychoanalyze. How about we all take the girl back to the mansion and we just have a mansion full of hot boys? Victor, maybe you should kiss him also and that might help. Oof. Then? No! I'm sure San Germain would be happy for you to come live with us. I mean, I'm down, but I feel like these other three boys that I'm with, like, they're not. So, it's gonna be a fight. Dang. I mean, listen, Von Helsing goes hard, if nothing else. He's like, when he commits, he commits. Oh, shit. What? What is happening? What? <gasps> uh, uh. That's... Lupin's magic. Of course. A magician never reveals his tricks, but let me tell you exactly what I did. A metal ball. Ah. Oh, Sure, that makes sense. Would I have known more about this if I went to hang out with Victor instead of Impy? Impy who was like, I don't know what's happening ever. I'm a dumb American. Please come live in our house. We can always use more sexy men. He's gonna come with us. Yay! No. Mm, mm, mm. One more to our harem, plus one to our reverse harem, yes! Victor, you like really, you're going hard on trying to get him to come stay with us. So like, are you trying to tap that? Cause like, if you are, I'm fine with it. I'm really cool with it. Yare, yare. I was like, hmm, I wonder if I have more cocktail in here, and literally it was just <laughs> water. It was no ice. Oh my god, this is such an anime ending! Hi, Dajabu. Yes, I'm fine. Uh, I was just thinking about how I could trust all of them, but it would be too embarrassing to admit. Power of friendship! Perfect place to end. Oh my god. Woo! Oh man. Power of friendship. It's a perfect anime ending. Uh, y'all. I was enjoying this game, and then, like, tonight, now I get it. I get why people are obsessed with this series. Uh, this is so freaking fun. Um, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for sticking with me through the technical difficulties I was having. Um, thank you for, like, drinking absurd amounts of rum with me. Like, this drink is just 100% rum with, like, a splash of fruit juice. Uh, I... <laughs> This is a super stupid idea that I had, and I, I am just so happy to, you know, have people here that are like, yeah, we're we're cool. We we want to definitely uh, show up while you stream this weird, this this weird weird uh, dating sim, and also drink cocktails. Uh, I really appreciate everybody for you know being part of this community. Thank you.